Hi, and welcome to this physics lesson on circuits, part two. Here, when we're starting with this circuit, we're going to start with already knowing the equivalent resistance. Now, if you need a little bit of help figuring out the equivalent resistance of a circuit like this, then please take a look at the other video, circuits part one, in which we actually calculate the equivalent resistance for this exact circuit. If you've already seen that video, or if you're comfortable with that skill, then let's go ahead and take a look at the next step in figuring out a little bit more information about what's going on with our circuit. So as we've calculated, R, the equivalent resistance for this circuit, is going to be equal to 30 ohms. And in order to find the current through this circuit, we're going to simply plug that value in, along with the value of V that we have given to us in our original circuit, into Ohm's law. So V equals IR to solve for current. Your current, when you divide both sides by R, will equal V over R. And we plug in those values of 30 for each. So our current for this circuit will equal 1 amp. A 1 ampere current is what we have flowing out of our voltage source here. And heading up into this first intersection that we see here. Now an important thing to appreciate about current is that whenever you reach a junction, your current will divide, although not necessarily evenly. It doesn't always split in half, but it'll divide according to the resistances of each loop of your circuit. So right now we know that the current flowing out of our voltage source is one amp, and we want to figure out how that current is going to be divided up into these two branches of our loop. So we know the before, and then we also, as one of Kirchhoff's rules, know the after, because when your current divides, two currents will go down these two branches of your loop, but it will come back together at this point over here. So the current will split at this junction, but then your current will rejoin at this junction, and the current passing through here will be equal to one amp as well. The same amount of total current that we have entering the junction is the amount of current that we will have exiting that intersection and passing through resistor four. So the first question for a specific resistor that we can answer is the voltage drop across resistor number four. And that's the phrasing that you'll see used. Voltage drop across a particular resistor. And in this case, we want to know the voltage drop across R4. So we're still going to use Ohm's law. We still use V equals IR, except now we're going to plug in slightly different values. To find that voltage drop, we're solving for V. And here, for current, we see the current passing through this resistor is 1. And for R, the voltage drop across resistor 4 is going to be dependent upon the resistance of resistor 4. So the value we're going to plug in for R is 10 ohms. And we find that the voltage drop across that resistor will be 10 volts. Now the reason that that's beneficial is because another one of Kirchhoff's rules will tell us that your voltage drop for the entire circuit will be equal to the output voltage, meaning your potential here will be 0 volts. If your potential here, your electric potential is 30 volts, exiting your power source. So the voltage drop for the entire circuit we know is 30 volts, and we know the voltage drop across this resistor is 10 volts which means the voltage drop across each branch of our loop is going to be equal to the remaining 20 volts. 30 volts minus the 10 voltage drop that we have across resistor four gives us 20 volts for our voltage drop across resistor one and across resistors two and three in combination. And in circuits part three, our next video, we will see exactly how we can use those values for voltage drop to calculate the current that's passing through each of these resistors that we have in the top part of our loop. If you have questions or want more information, please visit our website at www.sandersontestprep.com. 
The link is in the description below. Thanks.